If you suffer from hair loss and you're about to spend money on a hair transplant or on medications that could mess with your hormones, you may want to hold back. Groundbreaking new research is shaking up everything we thought we knew about hair loss. There are now two separate solutions which are being developed and have shown positive results in studies. Here's a full breakdown of everything you need to know. Firstly, UCLA scientists have identified a small molecule that can waken dormant but undamaged hair follicles even if they haven't produced hair in decades. The researchers have dubbed the molecule PP405. The PP405 molecule is isolated and applied to a protein in the follicle stem cells that keep the cells dormant. The stem cells remain in the follicle even after many years of no hair growing. PP405 inhibits the protein which blocks the stem cells and they get woken up. Scientists have been working on this molecule for almost a decade. In the first human trials conducted in 2023, researchers found that applying PP05 as a topical medicine onto the scalp before bed for a week produced promising results. UCLA researchers labelled the results statistically significant. Most importantly, they believe the treatment will produce full terminal hair rather than the peach fuzz variety produced by other contemporary miracle cure lotions and potions. By that they mean things like minoxidil doesn't grow thick hair that would match the hair that you still have. It kind of grows a very fine type of hair that doesn't look exactly the same. The second trial was carried out in 2004 and here's the paper. Participants were 78 males and females between the ages of 18 and 55 with some form of hair loss. Half were given a topical gel containing 0.05% PP405 and the other half were given a placebo. They applied it to the scalp for four weeks and then were followed up. The study found that 31% of men with a higher degree of hair loss who received the PP405 had a greater than 20% increase in hair density at eight weeks compared to 0% in the placebo group. The study also showed PP405 induced new hair growth where there was previously no hair, suggesting the therapy has the potential for regeneration. Additionally, PP405 was seen to be well tolerated with no systemic absorption detected in blood plasma. The three UCLA scientists behind the breakthrough William Lowry, Professor of Molecular Cell and Development Biology, Heather Christoph, Professor of Biological Chemistry, and Michael Young, Distinguished Professor of Chemistry, are bullish on the potential of the treatment to reverse pattern hair loss, which affects more than half of all men and one-fourth of all women by the age of 50. The scientists co-founded a medical development company called Pellage Pharmaceuticals, which is backed by Google Ventures and has raised $16.4 million in funding for further trials and FDA clearance. Secondly, a completely separate biopharmaceutical company called Amplifica has developed an intradermal injection called AMP303, which stimulates hair follicles into growing new hair. They carried out a trial at the UC Irvine in 2024 with male participants aged 18 to 45, all diagnosed with hair loss. The study divided participants into two distinct groups, those with recent onset of hair loss, three to five years, and those experiencing more long-standing hair loss over 10 years. Each participant to receive AMP303 on one side of the scalp and a placebo on the other allowing for a direct comparison within individuals. They found AMP303 was observed to be safe and well tolerated. A statistically significant number of participants showed a greater than 10% increase compared to placebo at 150 days post-treatment. Now we don't have any details of how this is working exactly or what's in it as they haven't released any of this data, but it sounds promising and is definitely worth mentioning. Both treatments target the root causes of hair thinning by waking up the biological pathways responsible for hair growth. We're not just masking the problem anymore, we're talking about real regeneration. PP405 could hit the market in the next two to three years, while AMP303 is still in early development. Let me know in the comments, would you try one of these new approaches or are you sticking with what you know? If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, take care.